situation in Israel? Well, you know, I said it, Mark, from the beginning of the war that everybody stands with Israel when we're a victim. The question is, will they stand with Israel when we're a victor? And that's a very different conversation. And we're dealing, as you know, with a brutal enemy that not only uh, attacked us in the most horrific way uh, on October 7th, which was given the size of our country, was the equivalent of about 29 11s, kidnapped 240 uh, hostages uh, in, in the wake of this brutal attack. And you see, as we go and we go in to actually win, against this this brutal enemy that is deliberately targeting us and using their own people as human shields. As you know, they have an entire terror tunnel network underneath Gaza. It makes it very hard to prosecute the war. And what their plan, as you know, Mark, is they want us to go in and civilians, they're keeping as human shields, and they're hoping that when Israel unintentionally targets, it doesn't target the civilians, but when unintentionally harms those civilians, and those civilians are killed, that the whole world will turn against Israel, because that's what's happened before. And instead of blaming those civilian casualties on Hamas, they blame Israel and they call for ceasefires. They call for us to uh, to end this uh, uh, this war against Hamas. But we're not going to end the war against Hamas. We're not going to agree to ceasefire, just like you wouldn't agree to a ceasefire a month after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, a ceasefire with Japan. Or after 9-11, you'd agree to a ceasefire with your enemies. Israel is going to prosecute this war until Hamas is eliminated. This round with that we've had in Gaza, as you know, many rounds over the last decade or so, this round in Gaza is going to be the last round. We're going to eliminate Hamas's military capabilities. We're going to end their political rule of Gaza. And we're going to ensure that Gaza never poses a threat to the people of Israel again. That's the mission that we're in, and the country is united behind that mission in a very powerful way. And whether there's people uh, in the United States or in Europe or elsewhere that doesn't want Israel to win, too bad. Israel's going to win. We Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.